Hello friends, today we are discussing about the concept of YouTube. Okay, so YouTube problems, U shaped tube problems. Okay, so these are problems very important. Previous year it is asked. Okay, I think 2018 or 2017 it is asked. I will discuss that problem also. So it's a very simple problem. There is only simple trick you need to understand that I am going to discuss here. Okay, what is that simple trick which you have to remember and make all the problems very very easy okay we shall go for that trick here so for example this is a youtube okay so in this youtube what is happening a liquid is kept let the liquid is water okay so you have taken a liquid as water so as you have taken the liquid as water here only same type of liquid is taken okay it's having only one type of liquid if one type of liquid is there you know that Pressure at the same heights will be same. That is the concept here. That is a trick here which you need to understand. Pressure at same heights will be same. If you remember this one, then it is very easy to understand here. So what is the concept here? The pressure at this place will be equal to pressure at this place because heights are same. Pressure at this place will be equal to pressure at this place because heights are same. So here also pressure P3 at this place is equal to pressure P3 at this place. That's enough. If you understood this concept, this trick, then it is very easy to understand the problems of this type here. Okay. So now, so we take this tube here now, in which there are two types of liquids taken here. So let us imagine this is mercury. And this is going to be water okay so you know that mercury is a very very heavy liquid okay its density is very very high that is 13.6 grams per centimeter cube compared to water water if you observe its density is only one gram per centimeter cube I think you understood so here this is a YouTube which is a combination of two liquids here so previously water was present as soon as you or mercury this side as mercury is a very heavy a high density liquid it comes down and makes the water to rise okay the simple trick here is you have to consider the interface point of the two liquids what do you mean by interface point of the two liquids so this is called as the interface point of the two liquids that is y and if you consider this point which is the interface point of the two liquids then pressure at y will be equal to pressure at x okay so this is the key word this is the key equation which you need to understand if you understand this key equation then this type of problems will be dead easy for you i will tell you how to do this one so here pressure at x will be equal to pressure at y here you need to understand that that's it here so for example uh, this height is x and this height is y okay <coughs> So what you need to understand here, pressure at Y will become HDG, you know pressure formula is HDG. For example, this is water and this is mercury. At this Y, what is the height? Yes, this is going to be the height here. Okay, so height is going to be Y and at this place, let the density of water is DW and G and pressure at X will be how much? This is going to be the height X and density of uh, water i mean density of mercury is going to be hg and this is going to be gravity okay so this is the key equation which if you understand then you are going to do any problem very easily okay so this is a basic concept here you have to select the lowest interface so this is among these two this is going to be down this is the interface of the two liquids if you uh, hold that point then you can solve any problem easily okay so now let us go for the next uh, problem here okay so if you understood this key concept then it has it will become very easy here so what is the correct concept here sometimes we will ask you the conceptual questions also so for this what is the correct answer uh, pressure at x will be equal to pressure at y so this is the correct answer here pressure at x will be equal to pressure at y okay so if you understood this one then it is going to be very easy for you you can solve any problem here let us go for the problems also one by one okay 
so you just see this problem here uh, this is a YouTube okay <coughs> so what are we going to do in this problem let us see so find the length of the oil column he's asking us to find out so try to read the problem it's very simple everything is there in this diagram only he is asking us to find uh, find the length of the uh, height of the oil here this you have to find out so I, what did I said to you just now I said to you that select the interface point of the two liquids so among these two liquids what is the interface point which is the lowest this is also interface point of the two liquids this is also interface point of the two liquids but you have to select the least interface point which is very bottom of the I main YouTube so if you select this point you consider this as point X you consider this as point Y that's it enough you got the answer it seems okay so now you can write here pressure at X is equal to pressure at Y that's it so pressure at X equal to pressure at Y so what is pressure at X uh, you have to consider height so 10 and you have to consider density of glycerin so what is the density of glycerin given here it is given as 13 point I mean 1.3 into what is the I mean HDG see G anyhow this side and that side is going to be cancelled here if you want you can write otherwise doesn't matter because G on either sides it is going to be cancelled no need to write again okay so uh, this point is over HD is over but if you observe from here there are two liquids to be considered one is mercury is up to this height and uh, oil is up to this height so what is this height going to be you need to find out this height here how, you, how are you going to find out this height see this height can we take it as 10 minus h can we take this height as 10 minus h that's it it's very simple then what are you going to do now so you have to consider a pressure at y is nothing but first this this is going to be mercury so h h is nothing but 10 minus y and what is the density of mercury that is going to be 13.6 okay and gravity i told no need to write plus this oil you have to consider so what is the height of the oil that is taken as h and density of the oil how much it is given density of the oil it is given as 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 is given so directly you can write 0 0.8 into h h into d g i told no need to take because it, it is anyhow going to be cancelled here so therefore you are going to write like this okay that's enough you got the answer almost so this can be taken as 13 which can be taken as here 0.6 h so what are you going to do now you take this 13 point i mean 136 these two terms you can take left side you can write this 13.6 minus 0 0.8 into h and this can be taken as 136 minus 13 so you can write h is equal to 136 minus 13 okay so 136 minus 13 can be taken as uh, i mean 123 and this is this can be considered as 12.8 uh, okay so anyhow this is going to be 9.6 centimeters okay so this is going to be your answer okay is it easy or difficult it's very easy to do find the lowest interface and make the pressures equal and take the power, uh, basic formula that is pressure is equal to hdg and from here you take this height for mercury and this height for oil because these two combined together they are going to be same that's it that's it the answer here it's very simple okay so now we shall go for the next problem See, uh, this was the problem which was asked in 2017. Try to uh, read the problem and understand. This is a YouTube having both the ends and everything is given here. Okay, rises to 70, I mean 66. These are the dimensions given. Try to read the problem, try to understand. I will show you the diagram also related to this problem. So this is a diagram of this problem here. So if you understand the diagram of this problem, this is oil and this remaining part is going to be the water. What did I say just now? you have to choose that point uh, of uh, interface between the two liquids that's it if you uh, hold that point then everything will be clear so what is the interface point according to uh, this uh, problem you can consider this as the interface point isn't it so if this is the interface point 
then you can write one step easily that is pressure at b is going to be pressure at c pressure at b is going to be pressure at c that's it got the answer so from here to here what is our total height so total height is 65 plus 65 is 130 plus 10 is 140 so you can write this as h totally 140 because water is up to this level only whereas the oil is up to this level okay so this is h and density of the oil is considered to be do anyhow g is going to get cancelled i told no need to take g here and the pressure at c if you consider what is the pressure at c so h dg so this height is uh, only 65 plus 65 mm 65 plus 65 mm is only 130 so here also mm here also mm it is going to be the ratio no need to convert this mm into centimeter or meter water it may be because they are anyhow going to be cancelled here so as it is going to be the ratio no need to change the units also directly you can write here and what is the remaining thing here the remaining thing is you have to consider density of water as it is in the mk system density of water instead of taking one gram per cc you can take thousand grams per i mean thousand kg per meter cube that's it so here uh, density of oil you have to find out isn't it so density of oil is going to be Oh, one three zero 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 uh, divided by one forty. That's it. Okay. So what are we going to get here? So if you do this one, you are going to get nearly nine twenty eight point five seven. So therefore, density of oil is going to be nine twenty eight approximately. Okay. So this is your answer, which was asked in the previous year. Okay. So it's a very simple question. And I told you that is a key word, a key thing you have to remember that is the interface point you have to hold at any cost. Okay. So next we shall go for the next problem. So this was the previous problem asked. Now let us go to this problem here. So let us see this problem now. It is also a very very easy problem. So uh, this is up to here, this is up to here, this is up to here and what is he asking us to find out? He is asking us to find out what is this height. Liquids are given to us, that's it. Okay. So one is mercury, another is water. So density no need to give because 13.6 for mercury and water is 1. That's very simple here. So I told you to hold the smallest interface level. Okay. So among these two levels, which is the smaller, uh, which is the lowest interface level? This is going to be the lowest. Let us consider this as X and this as Y. That's it. That's it. Okay. So this is PX is equal to P, PY. Okay. So PX, what is, what are you going to get this one? Okay. As this is mercury level, as it is heavier, this goes down, water level will raise up here. So what are, this is going to be water. PX means it is going to be water level. So H, density of water. Anyhow, G is going to be cancelled. H, D, G, low, G, point E. Therefore, you take, uh, I mean, P at Y. So, P at Y is nothing but 2 into density of mercury into G. G, anyhow, it is going to cancel. Then, what are you going to do? Uh, he is asking us to find out H of the water column. So, H of the water column is H only. This is 2 into 13.6 divided by density of water is going to be 1. Therefore, your answer is going to be 27.2 centimeters. Is it not easy to solve? It is very, very easy to solve. Okay, so these are some of the models, I think.